Hi guys, it's Nancy. I'm here midweek to um, come to you guys for support, basically. I want to share with you something that um, is going on where I work. Um, the agency that I work at is um, doing this like Biggest Loser competition thing, and they had the first one. I didn't partake in it. I was having the surgery. Um, the second one just started a week ago today. It was June 18th and it's running for 13 weeks. And it's a weight loss competition and it's for office morale. And basically what the competition is, is last week you weighed in and you paid $5 to get in. Then you weigh in once a week and every week if you stay the same or you lose weight, you don't pay anything. If you gain weight, you pay a dollar per pound gained. And so um, I weighed in this morning and the girl, her name is Jen, that's running it, said, you know, hey, come here, I want to talk to you. And she's also the one that monitors your weigh-in. Um, the competition is also um, percentage lost, not pounds. Uh, so anyone, in my opinion, could win. So she pulls me aside and she says, a couple people in the competition feel that you have an unfair advantage. And that's because basically everybody and their brother knows that I've done the surgery. Because, number one, I'm not ashamed of what I've done. And, number two, I told a lot of people for an accountability tool. Um, and so I was like, well, what do you mean? And she says, well, you know, they just think that because you've had the surgery, you have an unfair advantage. And I said, okay, what did you say? And she's like, well, I told them that they were wrong. And basically, here's what I think we'll do. And she said to me, if you win, um, maybe, maybe you can just default to second place or... Um, only get half the money. And I was like, well, that's bullshit. And it kind of pissed me off. And I was like, you know, um, I'd rather just take my money back and not partake in it. And she said, no, 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 I don't want, I don't want you to drop out. I don't want them to think that they've won. Um, and I said, so I walked away. And so I talked to a girlfriend of mine there at the office who knows everything that I'm doing and going through. Um, and then I talked to my husband, and that's where I, I'm a sensitive person. And so, you know, he said, ultimately, I did this for myself, and I did this for the family, and screw them. I don't need a competition to be successful this time. Um, and, and so I went back to her, and I said, just give me my $5, because I think staying in this, knowing, and she didn't tell me names, of course, knowing that people are not supportive of me, um, I'm not letting anybody sabotage this. Um, just give me my $5 back because they obviously don't have a freaking clue. And I think I just felt like people in this community would understand where I'm coming from because I can only speak for myself, but I have failed at every diet and exercise program that I have ever done in my life. And failing, failing is just not an option for me this time. Not an option. Because I came to the decision that I was using this as the last opportunity to change my life for forever. And these people that think I have an unfair advantage must think I sit around and eat chocolate cake and still lose pounds. Because they must not have a clue that I eat six small meals a day, mostly consisting of protein, vegetables or fruit, and a little bit of starch if, I'm, if I can. They don't have a clue that I'm working out five days a week. I am busting my butt so that I don't fail. And they just don't have a clue. And so anyway, I'm bringing this to this community because I think that you guys, if I hear from you guys that I have an unfair advantage, because uh, maybe I'm wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I'm way off base. Maybe I do have an unfair advantage, and you guys can set me straight, and I will accept that from you. But from people who don't have a clue what I'm doing or what I'm going through, no, it's unacceptable to me. And I have ultimately decided to drop out because, I'm again, I, I, I am stressed out very easily. I'm a sensitive person, and they will they'll sabotage me, and I'm not going to let them do that. And so, but I just, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from this community that, that I'm right and that we don't have an unfair advantage. We have a tool. 
Because, oh, yeah, here's the other thing. There's no rule that says someone else can't be taking diet pills. There's no rule that says somebody can't be binging and purging and losing their weight. There's no rules about that and those unfair advantages. And, you know, if in the end someone does do better than me and I, and I don't win, no one would say a word about it. But if I win, oh, that's when they're going to say, no, oh, no, 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 she had an unfair advantage. So, again, I, I'm looking for support. Or I'm looking for you all to tell me that, that I'm wrong and that I have an unfair advantage and that I should just go on about my merry way. But again, more acceptable to hear it from you guys. So, you know, I'll get better soon. And, uh, you know, I know that there are going to be many trials and tribulations in our life. And especially now that we've had the surgery, this is just one of many things I'm probably ever going to face. But um, I'd like to hear from you guys. Thanks. Bye.